as soon as the sales team has um, sold the product to the client, the client gets passed on to the customer success team um, and we take over from there and we're really their main point of contact from that point on. We want to help our customers use PECON in the best way possible, so it's really making sure that it's a complete success for them and that they're improving their engagement scores from the team level to the company level. PECON isn't that difficult to set up, uh, but we really know, um, you know what they can be doing to make sure that PECON is really successful within their organization, so we sort of give them tips and tricks and we help them troubleshoot and um, you know, make sure that everything is running really smoothly. So when I was working with uh, Pecon in my previous company, I realized that one of the most important things about customer success is actually building up a trust relationship with your customer. So when we first onboard clients, uh, sometimes there's a misunderstanding of what engagement means and um, they might want to ask some specific questions around engagement and we help them figure out uh, the best versions of the questions that will help bring the best feedback. So, so often engagement surveys take months to cascade, so by the time it reaches the manager, the data is out of date. So what's so wonderful about PECON is that the actionable insights give managers a real quick view of what they can do to make things better in their team. What I love hearing about is customers implementing actions following the insights they've received from PECON. So whether that's at a really small level, so setting up an action for just a team of 20, to the HR manager setting up a new initiative for 3,000 people. I think that's the power of PECON. It actually empowers managers on the floor to actually take small actions to change and make their team more engaged.